morning, everybody. It's 723. Welcome back. It's a great day. And every week at this time, we visit with our friends from the Blank Park Zoo. Oh, boy, is this a great place to go out and just hang out. What a perfect day today. To head out this to is a Park big Zoo. day. We're introducing a new host of the program. <laughs> <laughs> Amboro is going to take over the show here momentarily. There is Amboro from the Blank Park Zoo. Uh, uh, Amboro brought along Amy Wilson. Mm -hmm. So Amy can communicate with us a little easier yes, than Amboro yeah. does. And tell us a little bit about Amboro. Um, he is a blue and gold macaw. Obviously, they get that name because of their color. Um, he is actually about uh, 22 years old. He is. So he's he's actually not really that old for a, a macaw. They can live up to close to 80 years. Wow. So how long um, has the Blank Park Zoo had this? this he's probably ah. been there, I think, about 10 years, longer than I have. That's so that's a good yep. run, then. Yeah, and he's been in the education department for that whole time, just going out, teaching kids, visiting different. Uh, schools and libraries and daycares, things like that. <laughs> and, and and look, morning. He looks like he, he knows a couple of different things. Uh, he he does. does to entertain people. Yep, can you wave? <laughs> Go <for laughs> Yes. Now, know? what are they known for besides just being beautiful creatures? Um, well, you know, we always, when we bring him out, we like to talk about proper pets. Um, so a lot of people see parrots and they're beautiful birds and um, they can talk so people always think that that's right. kind of cool but really they're they're not the best pets. They're basically like having a one to two year old in your house for their whole 80, life, 80 year lifespan. And why would um, you explain what you mean by that? Um, they're very destructive. They're very messy. Uh, they actually drop about 80 to 90 percent of the food they eat so most of it just crumbles. Amongst other out. things, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. we already <laughs> dropped a little something else too. So that they're messy in that way as well. Um, very loud. He's being fairly quiet right now, but when they want attention and they're not getting it, they're screamers and, and they'll make different parrot calls when, when they want that attention. And so in your small house, it's probably not a great thing that you want a parrot screaming in your house. Now, you mentioned that people, uh, they enjoy them because they talk, but they right. really are not talking. Are right. They? Okay. No, yeah, you're right. They are mimicking. And so they hear something over and over and over again, and they have the ability to repeat it and mimic it. Um, so he's picked up different <laughs> noises and sounds throughout the years. Some he's picked up from other animals. Some he's picked up from us humans. So Has he picked up any naughty words? No, I don't think well, so. Let him hang around here Nothing for a while. He'll pick up yeah. quite a few. Nothing that he repeats very often. Every once in a while, we think we hear something that is not appropriate, but it doesn't happen often. So obviously, they're very social. They want to be around people. Yeah, and he was he was um, born in captivity, hatched in captivity, and so he has always bonded with people. Um, he always tends to have one person in particular that he bonds with the strongest. <laughs> And then there's several other people that, you know, I usually say he tolerates me more than anything. Now, are yeah. there any concerns with this type of animal with the bird flu that's going around? Um, they're not quite sure exactly what bird, what birds other than chickens and turkeys and things like that, that it, that it would affect. So we did take some precautions um, when it was hitting the hardest here in Iowa. Uh, we weren't taking out some of our education birds. Um, we weren't letting, he's not able to be touched anyways, but um, so some of our chicken and our duck that can be touched, we weren't letting people touch them and weren't really traveling with them. So um, some of that's kind of calmed down a little bit now, especially since it hasn't been hitting zoos. It's mainly been commercial farms. <laughs> He's like, I like that. What so we've already that? seen him wave. What else can Ann Barrow do this morning? Hey, Jason, J Jason, tell him, tell him a real bad joke. Do you know any real bad <laughs> jokes? Well, we could tell him the old... Uh, uh, a floppy show joke. Go ahead. What do you call a, a car in the oven? Okay, uh, Amboro, what do, you, what do you call a car in the oven? He doesn't a hot rod. Can you laugh? Uh, ha, ha. Laugh. Can you laugh? Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a better laugh than you get out of most people. Yeah. <laughs> so typical. Can you laugh? Uh, can you laugh? <laughs> You're too busy mumbling. Can you say hello? Hello. Oh, oh there, there you go. go. There you go. <laughs> So typical uh, nuts, fruits, that type of thing? Yep, yep. Um, parrot pellets is kind of a commercial diet as well that's that's thrown in there, but different nuts and seeds, fruits, veggies, all those different types of things. No, does Ambaro uh, ever make an appearance uh, at Zoo Brew at all? 
He may, yeah, definitely. Okay, because today's the weather would be very conducive for him yep. to come out today <laughs> yeah. with mid-80s, Jason. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice and cool. And that's what's going on tonight. Uh, zoo brew happening uh, over at the Blank Park Zoo. Now, here's what happens. They close the zoo at 5 o'clock, and then they reopen it at 5.30 for adults only because yeah. adult beverages are being served uh, yep. in mass quantities, we might add. Yes. Uh, and the zoo is totally open, isn't it? Yes. Yep. Uh, All the animals are out until usually around 8. Uh, uh, and so uh, you can wander around uh, and see all the awesome animals we have and enjoy the nice weather. As well. And it has become like a regular weekly event for a lot yes. of people, Jason. Yeah, and it's a lot of fun out there. And it really is a good time to see the animals. I mean, we all love uh, kids. Uh, not all of us. Tom doesn't love them, but <laughs> no. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of nice to be at the zoo when it's just grown-ups and get a chance to see those animals in the evening when you don't normally get a And Jackie, we have prizes we give away too, right? That's right. Make sure you stop by the Great Day in KCWI booth. Uh, we have some games to play. You'll come meet the Great Day gang and have some prizes we're going to give away as well. It's a great time tonight at the Blank Park. Here's how you get them over to the booth. You have a chance to win free drinks. Ah. Okay, they're coming over here. <laughs> That's why Jason comes. Mm, there it is. Well, Amboro, thank you very much yeah. for, uh, for uh, bringing folks over today. We, we like seeing you. And uh, even though you didn't laugh at our joke, maybe we'll tell you a different joke <laughs> yeah. this afternoon, okay? Maybe we'll get Next you to laugh time. a little more. A different joke. Can you, yeah, say, can you wave goodbye to everybody at home? I want him to stay. I like yeah. him. I know. He's great. Can he say bye-bye or not? He doesn't. He doesn't say bye. We'll work on that for next time. We do time. need to. Amy, thank you so much You're for being welcome. here. Thank you very much. We'll be right back. It's 7.